In the winter, it is common to see a propane grill sitting in the corner of somebody's backyard. It is often difficult for these people to use their grill during cold weather because they don't know if it is safe or not. Are you wanting to grill in the cold? If so, you might want to stay tuned. This video will answer that question and more. So can you use a propane grill in cold weather? The short answer is yes. You can use a propane grill in cold weather. However, it's important to know a few helpful pieces of advice on going that route, such as, it is acceptable as long as the temperature outside isn't below minus 44 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 42 degrees Celsius. Let's take a moment to discuss what makes cooking with a propane grill different than at other times of the year. First, you have to consider how to use a propane tank in cold weather. It's very rare to actually see any difference when cooking between propane grills in the cold versus hot temperatures. The only time you'll actually have to make some considerable changes is if the weather outside is close or beyond freezing. If you still want to grill your food during this type of weather then you're going to want to make sure you follow a few helpful tips. You may have to raise the temperature. If the environment is significantly colder than usual, you'll have to crank up the heat. Also, the cold air outside of the grill reduces the heat on the inside. If it's close to freezing outside, then you'll need to use a higher temperature between your grill and cooking level in order to cook food at an appropriate rate. The cold also limits how much oxygen is available for combustion which can lead to more smoke than normal during grilling sessions. You may also notice that preheating your grill may take a lot longer. It's not rare to preheat your grill, but in extremely cold weather, you're going to need a lot more time to get it up to cooking temperature. Because the temperature in your surrounding is cold, it'll take a few extra minutes to raise the temperature inside the grill to be appropriate for cooking. I've found that you need to at least wait an extra 5 to 10 minutes for the heat to rise. Take for example, if you were going to cook a steak. If you don't preheat the grill before you place the steak in it, in most situations, the meat will steam before it sears. Now, this really depends on what you're cooking and what you have in mind that your food should taste like. Placing that steak onto an ice-cold grill may take so long to warm up that your steak would gradually cook inside, resulting from a medium-cooked steak, when what you really wanted was a medium-rare. You should also keep the lid closed to trap the hot air. It's very important to know that if you kept the lid open while cooking in the cold, a couple of scenarios can occur. The first being that your grill will never get to the right temperature you're needing it at. This may ultimately result in uncooked food and could be very dangerous if eaten. The second scenario is where you end turning the flames up higher. In this situation, you'll be wasting a lot of propane from your tank. Also, there's just no guarantee that you'll be able to reach the desired temperature even if you max out the gas valves. It could all be in vain. Ceramic and cast iron pots help insulate heat. When cooking in the cold, it can make a big impact on what kind of kitchenware you're using. This is especially true when you want to grill using pots. Will it be ceramic or cast iron? Either tool would work well to help insulate the heat trapping it inside the pot, and make your grilling more effective. Cast iron conducts heat very well and stays hot for longer periods of time. Alternatively, ceramic would make a great storage container and is often used to keep food warm. You should also try your best to avoid the wind. If you have to grill, do it behind a corner of the house that blocks the wind. During cold seasons, the wind can certainly mess with your ability to cook. The wind will take away warmth from the grill and can make it more difficult for smoke to billow out of the flames, affecting what you're cooking in a negative way. I want to invite you over to our official website to learn more. I've added some vital safety precautions to an article that complements this video. Just Google search for Family Guide Central. Link to the site and the specific article in the description below. Did you find this video helpful? Why not subscribe, hit the bell icon, and smash that like button. It will really help me out and allow me to continue providing great content. See you again soon. Bye.